Hi guys, welcome to the Sanmo channel and I'm Garma. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell button for the latest updates. So today I'm making Navratan Korma. It's a creamy and a luxurious curry made with pineapples and lots of nuts. It goes great with naan or any Indian flat food. So let's get started. In a skillet, add onions. Uh, I've used red onion, but white onions or orange onions work best for the recipe. Uh, next, add some cashews, almonds, cloves, and cardamom. Also, add ginger and garlic. Add three cups of water and let it simmer for ten to fifteen minutes. I'll leave the link of ingredients in the description below, so don't forget to check it out. Next, uh, let's boil the vegetables. Take a pan and add water. Let it come to boil. Then next, add the potatoes. And once the potatoes are partially cooked, then add rest of the veggies. I've used carrots. Um, cauliflower and green beans. So let it cook for two or three minutes more until all the veggies are properly boiled. Meanwhile, let's blend the onions. Add the onions in the water in the blender and pulse it until it's puree. Next, transfer that pureed onion in the skillet. And let it come to boil. Next, add some spices. I use red chili powder, garam masala, and amchur powder. And cook for one or two minutes. Uh, next, strain the veggies and add it in the skillet. You can also add some other veggies that you like. These are the only ones that are available to me. So I've used these ones. But all the veggies, any variety of veggies will work. Next, season with salt and add some brown sugar or maple syrup for the sweetness. And let it simmer for 2 or 3 minutes until everything is combined properly. Add bay leaf and cinnamon. I've used uh, saffron oil, but you can also use saffron milk in the recipe. Let's keep uh, simmering it. Um, next, uh, add peas. Add the peas at the end. Um, next, uh, you can fry the uh, nuts. Add cashews, almonds, or walnuts, whatever you feel like, and cook until they are golden in color. Next, add the cashews along with pineapple and some raisins in the curry. You can also use frozen veggies if you don't have fresh ones available. That will work too. And let it simmer for a few more minutes until all the ingredients are well combined and your Navratan Korma is all ready. You can serve with naan or any Indian flatbread you like. If you haven't already, then please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss my next recipe. I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching.